and Colin Hamilton on the flute. What tunes are you going to play for us, Henry? Um, well, the first one's called the, the Granny in the Corner. And Granny in the Corner? I don't know the name of the song. <laughs> Just uh, probably the... Uh, for Canadian. Uh, well, to it.
Shani is in the Kit Kult or Hagen Shasha, Dolno Lynchig, Caribbean Degrees, no? I guess Mac Mick the Dolly Volinchig is Ferran Haru Tiplan Session, Steady, who's Martian there. I guess Tashakon Rafort the Hainton. You're going to play two tunes for us now on the box. Yeah. I guess Kalendashun Hainito. The boys of Blue Hill and Car Car Car. Anyway, ask for that, so. song, I think, from Danny Kaler, one of our more favourite singers, local singers anyway, he sings quite a lot in the top of home. Danny, what are you going to sing for us? I'll sing you Man of Strand. Lovely, no better man. Quite a way, sir. That's your ways. It was on a good Friday morning, all in the month of May. A German boat was signalling Far out in Trolley Bay, with twenty thousand rifles intending far to land, but no signal answer from the shore on Lonely Banner Strand. No signal answer from the shore, Sir Roger sadly said. No comrades here to meet me, alas, they must be dead. What I will do my duty, for thus I mean to land. And in a small boat he rowed ashore to lonely Banner Strand. The R.I.C. were searching for Sir Roger High and Law. They found him in my kindness fort, saying at least you are our foe. I am Sir Roger Casement. I came to free my land with a German boat of Rifles to lonely Banner Strand. They took Sir Roger a prisoner and they sailed for London town, saying, You are our empire's enemy and a traitor to the crown. You are our empire's enemy and a charge you'll have to stand for bringing German rifles to lonely Banner Strand. It was in an English prison that they led him to his death. I'm dying for my country, he says with his last breath. They buried him 
in English sail, far from his native land, and the while were sang his requiem and lonely van a strand. The brat Sir Roger home again in the year of sixty five, and with his comrades of sixteen. In peace and tranquilized, his last fun wish has been fulfilled, for to lie on a hero's sail, and the wild waves roll in peace again, and lonely than a strand. Well, now we're going to carry on with a, a, a tradition that this is, is uh, unique to this particular pub here in uh, Top Room. Uh, it's, there's a great singing tradition here, but they, they, it's quite a lot. But uh, it's uh, called the Noble Call, and uh, one person starts singing, and then they carry it on from one to the next. So, to start this off, we'll have Rachel Nereida for a song. Here, please. Sinning in the many gun hours, his beam shock a sherry, cost of the boiler, Tabahani Nogum Fanic, Svenogin a gounder, Svadevin and Palna Herum Sharlem Sharnogon, Canagas fight our rumboroch, as fight our doses here, Nagarud mach a dwarter. Kyal the sheen a crinna, that I hear her in closef. Scarvin the lumps again, no more tart and wool. Hallelujah, <laughs> Is can I go now? Is can I be raised? I'm not in the ground. 
I am a lonely exile that has left my own dear nation far to seek a situation in a land far or the foam I sailed across the ocean wide through hardship and through danger and for years I've been a stranger from my own dear native home where once I lived contentedly the friends I knew surrounded me care nor grief that worried me nor made my heart feel so but now my days are closing and I'm parted from my country and kill the martyr's homely face my eyes shall ne'er see more I have Travel to Columbia's shores, all Thailand danger scorning, to the farthest eastern borders and westwards to the deep, the broad extended cotton fields and plains of Alabama, the gold fields of Montana, and the Rockies wide and steep. I haunted for prosperity, but still it has eluded me, black Misfortune followed me wherever I roamed. But oft times in my anguish, I cursed the fate that parted me from the comrades of my boyhood and my own dear Irish home. Sweet boyhood recollections, though will ever fondly be with me, to the friends I left behind me, Far o'er the raging sea, and the dear Kilnamartra, where one time I resided, but now I am divided 
by the ocean wide from thee. It is overtaking me, and the youth is fast forsaking me. The friends I left behind me, perhaps I'll never see more. But until my days are over and death has come and taken me, I fondly will. Remember the dear land that I adore. I suppose a noble call comes to saw Glamour Marine Holmes and Hoinga. Er madne ne shayar kusun stuare kalin. Her limbs are complete. She was neatly clothed in green. A mali bo khel se belin bo rovlish ving, and I knew by her gaze she'd play the hide and go seek. The greatest fame is the rusty pogin u tree. She answered and said, Young man, you are making too free. She towards a fan laid, I took fossil dumb some I teach you to play a game called hide and go seek. The dog man she towards you go vehemently. I'll tarry a while until more of this world I'll see. Mar time should o o quick the eggs and or should the vee too young a great deal to play the hide and go seek. Now cuddle and glush in ta moor could cut it of me. Your mammy was younger than you when your face she did see. Na kreet je o eenje gun je en hun je valler tegen je. So come with me home and we'll play the hide and go seek. Thals loot de brak her gum heen ik ba boog agus lee. And no one to care the milk, the butter or cheese. Bear should crush this mission at Fenigum he and when we'll come from walking, tis we'll have a jolly good squeeze. The rear the right of Tom Warford, calm of the free, by your false seduction like Satan when he tempted Eve. The milk fish to hoi brart is the good sedavi of. There'd be no chance at all you'd marry a girl like me. Is some old Kalino Gahul a far tumble slee? That fortune might later favor her progeny. Fiach Cupid's Venus the Vila host and agree, and if you don't join me, my ghost will torment you in sleep. Be an air of a lorer, no baby in her lar, a dwarchy. The parents that dreared me controlled by them I will be. To lack commendation is any more haggard, let he is, and if your game will succeed, then we'll play while the rest are asleep. <laughs> I went to the races last July, far, far away. 
I back to harsh name kidney pie far, far away. When my horse came in, I danced with glee. I went to fetch my LSD. Oh, but the bookie, where was he? Far, far away. Far, far away. My brother Jim is a fireman bold. He puts out fires. He went to a fire last night, I'm told. He puts out fires. The fire blew up some dynamite. Where poor Jim's gone, we don't know right. But wherever he is, sure he's all right. For he puts out fires. He puts out fires. My wife's mother was very ill. I pulled her through. Without the aid of doctor skill, I pulled her through. They called me up at half past four to tell me that me mother-in-law was lying just outside that door. So I pulled her through. I pulled her through. I'm in love with that charming girl. She's coming out tonight. She has eyes like diamonds, teeth like pearls. They're coming out tonight. <laughs> I'll take her down some shady dell. I'm stony broke, it's hard to tell. But if she's got eyes like diamonds, well, they are coming out tonight. They are coming out tonight. I call on you, Mikey, now. My friend here, on you, Mikey, and Danny Keller. And Danny Mikey also. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know what Danny Mikey knew, but the chance of any more for a song, Danny White up will give you. Danny Lee, one you Mikey. Danny started. 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 Yeah. Danny? <laughs> Come all the wandering fellow men of every rank and station Monday. and read a short oration that yet remains untold. You might have been an Austrian, a German or Bulgarian, but to all my vast experiences the truth I will unfold. When you'll hear my unity unveil to the community. So take the opportunity of listening to me. You'll hear of foreign countries and of truthful calculations and of a few relations in that beauty spot lonely. I went to see the world's edge when scarcely sixteen years of age a ski steerage passage I engaged on a ship called Iron Duke I went on board on Dublin's wall, being southward bound for the Transvaal. I had a friend from Mount Skull and one from Donnybrook. Our noble ship had scarcely steamed when through my mind sad memories beamed. 
I thought of my own neighbors and their loving company. I thought of my own brother and my love for one another. And of a great mother in that beauty spot, Glenly. We landed safe, though suddenly, at that British state Cape Colony. In search of manual labor, I wandered near and far. I crossed the Orange River amongst Hottentots and Kafirs. Gave a file with Don the Masters on the Isle of Zanzibar. A Dutchman who admired my ways brought me to see the Himalayas. Oh, friends, dear me, I was amazed they were awful high to see. We journeyed on through Hindustan along the river Ganges. No place in all my ranches like that beauty spot, Glenly. This Dutchman who in health's decline had heard of cures in Palestine. Anyway. Persuaded me for to combine and along with him to go. We landed safe in Java and we journey through Jerusalem, the ancient city of Hebron and the ruins of Jericho. The Lebanon mountains, highest peaks, were like the Maclecody's reeks, and from their summits you could see the Lake of Galilee. Likewise, the river Jordan and the province of Samaria. But it always sounds contrary that the fairest was Glenly. But those full times were drifting nigh when my faithful Dutchman friend and I. About to part and bid goodbye, perhaps to meet no more. I stood forlorn on the cap, oh, the ship that bore him sailed away. His memory in my mind shall stay till life's long days are o'er. In Palestine, I'd made some coin. I read of San Francisco's mines, where to invest my capital. I thought a good idea, but often meditation, I would stop for speculation and go home for recreation Nation. to that beauty spot Lonely. Come on, come on. Oh, yes. As Providence and will its way and therefore conscience must obey I went on board and sailed away when my friend did me forsake we landed safe in Frisco when the trees were blooming beautiful. Twas on that very evening, sure, there was a big earthquake. I was in bed and sleeping sound. I woke to find things tumbling round. And after that, I heard no sound, no pain affected me. But on the following morning, when I recovered consciousness, I wrote of all my consequence to my home in Fair Glenlee. I told him in that letter that I'd lost my situation. Bad was my worldly station, I intended to go home. I hoped their generosity would help my exportation. And I went on relating how misfortune made me wrong. 
I got the cash to pay my way without disaster or delay and landed safe in Queenstown Cay on board the chimpanzee. And after a long journey of five long hours duration, we reached the little station on the road to Ferglanli. As I approached the terminus, I viewed with consternation the awful congregation that assembled in the rain. I hope the mother person of worldly estimation to their eager expectation was coming, coming on, on my friend. Oh, but as I scanned each friendly face, friends and neighbors all time assembled there in hundreds with a welcome home for me. They shouted with elation and they shook with great vibration. The surrounding elevation on the road to Fairlandly. And so, so now we live contentedly among those grand old neighbors. And with all the neighbors of good nature and delight, I found among the multitude a charming little creature. She puts her admiration, she is my faithful, charming Irish And when we meet them Sunday noon, in that cozy spot called Tapacum, where song and story would loom the hearts of you and me. And there amongst the multitude of grand old friends and neighbors, we're never tired of praising that beauty spot and Well, that was some idea of a, a, a typical night in the top of Coombe here. The, to be truthful about it, we're only starting. So, um, to finish up the night, we'll, we'll, myself and my sister Leah here will we'll play two tunes. We're not sophisticated enough to know the names of the tunes, which are. They're two tunes anyway. Two jigs, I think. Uh, no? Uh. Okay, so. Good night and thank you very much. <laughs>
Oh, 